Hi everyone, it's me Mitchell Trench and welcome to MJT Reviews the Eurovision Song Contest 2016 Stockholm. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about Croatia. I know that I find your called Lighthouse and it's sung by Nina Kralik. Please like my new Facebook page MJC Reviews to see more info about Eurovision and including live videos from myself. So I just want to start off by saying that the singer Nina looks really pretty. She's got really nice color hair as well. Even in the darkest night. And I can tell when she sings she's very emotive and technically a great singer, so it's good to have. The melody in the verse is really pretty. It's such a soft, gentle, lovely verse. I like in the bridge, there's like um, a drop of, of rain kind of sound. It's like, doop. I don't know how you'd make that sound, like, doop. In devastating times, I keep this hope of mine, even in the darkest night. But it's like, it's really pretty. I, li I really like the raindrop sound in the bridge. I thought that was really nice. It's in the first bridge and the second bridge. And the song has a very easy listening kind of style. I could see myself just laying on my bed or my couch on a Sunday and just listening to this song. The lyrics are actually really powerful as well. If you listen to what she's actually singing, I could hear a use of dynamic. The first time she sings a chorus, it's very soft and gentle and she sings with falsetto and stuff. Cause there is a light guiding my way, keeping me safe and no shots rage. And then the second time she sings a chorus, she belts it. But she has such a gentle voice that it's like a gentle belt. Cause there is a light guiding my way, keeping me safe and no shots rage. Which is actually kind of unique and sophisticated, but I could hear dynamic if you listen really carefully. And it had quite a nice key change. There is a light, now, I was really excited about this key change because it's the second key change I've heard out of, I think, 10 songs, and that's just craziness. But it was actually a good key change, and I actually think it was better than the Russian key change. It was kind of more vocally outstanding. So yeah, I did like the key change in this. One thing with this song is that, just I don't know if it's just the mixing and combination of a lot of things, but the song can get a little boring. It could get a little boring to some listeners. And unlike many other songs, even if they're cheesy or not, this song is not very hooky. So it's probably going to be the biggest downfall and the biggest problem for Croatia this year is that it's just not hooky enough. And it will all depend on how Nina delivers a song live. You know, maybe live she can belt it and go crazy and be really powerful and strong and be confident enough. And if she delivers it on the night, if she sings in a powerful way with loads of confidence, then it might make it to the final. Otherwise, it might just be forgettable for the audience. She'll come out and she needs to deliver. There'll have to be lots of lighting in this. The staging needs to be really good. It can't just be basic and boring structure. So otherwise, yeah, she's got a soft voice and sometimes soft voices can not capture the audience enough trust me there's been songs that i've wanted to do really well before and i'm like no the audience aren't feeling it the viewers aren't feeling it so i really hope that she follows all those things and she's really strong on the night because it really depends on that at the moment i'm not sure what will happen if this song will make it to the finals or not just because it could be perceived as a little boring and it's not very hooky compared to others but i really like nina i think that the lyrics are great Music could have been better. It could have been written better. But I did like the lyrics and I really like Nina as well. So that's it for now. Please like, comment and subscribe to see more Eurovision Song Contest 2016 reviews. And please like my new Facebook page MJC Reviews to see more info about Eurovision and including live videos from myself. And coming up next is Austria. So stay tuned and until then, 
Bonsoir Europe. And bye-bye.